Yeah, I, now, now it's, yeah, now it, this is working. Okay. Okay, very good. So, as I was saying, good afternoon. Uh, very good uh, to, to, be, to be back. As you know, uh, I was in uh, the United Ar Arab Emirates and, and after that, uh, immediately thereafter, in, in, in Cairo. Um, and I arrived just uh, one hour ago uh, from, from Cairo. Um, but uh, during this uh, trip, um, visits uh, to these two very important countries for the IAEA, um, at the same time, I was negotiating uh, with Iran, and as you know, there was, uh, there were, we had these developments on, on the issues around um, Karaj and, and the cameras, and I felt, uh, of course, that you know, as, as uh, it has already become um, uh, our habit to, to get together and discuss what, what happened and why it happened, and I felt that I, I should do it again. Um, I didn't know whether there would be interest after two days, but apparently you still have questions, and I would be, I would be happy to, to take them. Uh, but, but before doing that, um, I thought that uh, since we've been uh, talking about uh, the cameras and what the problems around the cameras are, I thought I'd wish, I would show you the cameras. Can we open this? It's open. And I will explain exactly what the issue is. This is the camera. This is the cameras, the type of cameras that uh, the IEA has all over the world. Hmm? This, these are the cameras that we have all over the world. We have uh, more than 1,000, uh, approaching 2,000 uh, cameras like this all over the world. And uh, this uh, type of uh, camera is the camera that we needed to uh, replace, in fact, the cameras, plural, that uh, we needed uh, to replace. I will let you know, see, how do you open this? I like this, yeah. These are the cameras, right? What you can see here, of course, this is the lens. Hmm? They are installed normally as any camera that you would see. And here, the interesting thing is what you see here is the module. This uh, is the module inside of which you have the, uh, the, the storage, uh, the memory card that uh, has the uh, information um, and the um, the images, okay? Let me see. Good. For example, video, live video. Let's put live video so you will see. No. Anyway. Um, so um, these were the cameras that were damaged. And what is important, and, and perhaps you, you, you may have questions about them and, and, and how, how they work. Uh, these cameras uh, cannot be tampered with. Uh, these cameras are under seals, although, uh, you know, in, in now the, the seals are not the type of uh, traditional seal uh, we, we would have like this hmm, for our equipment. Now simply, when you close it, hmm, uh, if, if, you, if you open, it immediately shows that it has been opened, has been tampered with. So these cameras cannot be violated uh, by anybody. Okay? Yes. Sorry? These cameras are commercially available. Of course, of course, it's not that you take them off the rack and you put them in an installation. There is the work that we do, that our experts, the, the, uh, Mr. Aparo's uh, team do, inside here. The kind of, uh, of uh, memory, the kind of um, uh, encryption uh, that, that they have. Uh, and also the fact that uh, uh, the, the images that, are, that come here are, are digitalized, cannot be, uh, you remember like in the movies when people put uh, footage that does not correspond with reality. What, what was it, September 11 or one of those? Ocean 11, September 11 was something different. Um, Ocean 11, uh, uh, so you cannot do that. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's information that is it's, uh, you cannot violate, basically, all right? So, 
These are the IAA cameras. And I felt it would be interesting after talking about cameras for so long that you would have an idea. So uh, having seen uh, what was this all about, we can, I can take your questions or uh, in, in the sense of uh, uh, what was agreed or whatever may be of interest uh, for you. Thank you very much. Je représente euh, la chaîne américaine en langue arabe, Al Hurra. Euh, oui. Qui a le droit de, de voir vraiment les images, les photos Est-ce que c'est vrai que ce, les Iraniens, ils ont dit qu'on ne va pas donner à l'agence internationale toutes les images qu'après l'accord avec euh, les 4 plus 5 Oui. Euh, plus 1 Je vous réponds en français ou en anglais pour tout le monde. Vous comprenez l'anglais si oui. je réponds en anglais oui, oui. Alors je vais répondre en anglais. Oui. So what he was asking me, for those who do not speak French, is about the images, who can see them, because he heard and uh, our Iranian counterparts have reiterated that uh, we are not going to be shown these images. If you remember uh, the installation of cameras and other methods of uh, monitoring um, were agreed in my trip of um, February, Last. And at that time, uh, Iran accepted that we would have some additional means of monitoring and verification in some additional places, apart from those that are covered by the, by the Comprehensive Safeguards Agreement, traditional type. Uh, and, uh, and it was part of a negotiation. The negotiation being that we would be able uh, to continue to register the information here but um, as the um, normal, I would say, um, uh, uh, gesture on, on, on our side to allow this to happen, we said, okay, the information can stay in Iran, but it, it's still under our okay. seals. Okay. So it's mine, if I can put it like that, but I can't see it. And at some point, Ideally, ideally, when the JCPOA uh, agreement is restored, then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, Jayab Abu Safir from Sky News Arabia. My question will be on, um, uh, now we're hearing from Iran that they are not going to give you any of these footage before lifting the sanctions. Is this something you've officially been told about? Uh, are those uh, plans or agreement being affected? Oh, it, uh, it, and, and the other question is on, on, on the United States of America as well. They are they're not happy about the agreement you signed with with uh, with Iran. They said it's it's less than what you achieved uh, in the previous agreements. What what's your take on well, that? Well, uh, your thank you for the question. The question is more or less what the gentleman uh, said, uh, and maybe uh, it is put in a different way. The information will be shared with us the moment there is an agreement. And one of the ideas is that the agreement will come when the, sanction, the san sanctions are lifted. So I suppose it's a different way uh, to express the same idea, which is once there is an agreement, once there is an agreement, this is what I agree. Let's not forget one thing. This thing is an agreement between the IAEA and Iran, right? So. Um, uh, when Iran and the IEA uh, agree to it, we will have access to this information. Uh, the, the precondition or the, the assumption upon which this agreement was signed was that it would happen when there is an agreement. And I suppose the agreement will come when the sanctions are lifted, but that's for other people to decide. It's for the other negotiation. Um, and the other thing about the United States, I haven't heard that really. Nobody from the United States have told me that they are uh, dissatisfied uh, with uh, the agreement I, uh, I reached with Iran on the cameras. Uh, thank you very much, uh, DG, for giving us the opportunity to ask questions. Um, my first question would be, uh, um, there's one concern that you don't have access to, to the memory cards. The other concern is the potential gap in the continuity of knowledge 
uh, that potentially exists for almost three months from mm -hmm. maybe the end of mm -hmm. June until you now have access uh, to replace the cameras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How concerned are you about this gap? And can you still guarantee that nothing is being diverted? And the second issue I would be interested in is once um, you have access to the Courage facility, apart from replacing the cameras, will you be able to verify uh, any potential activity at the facility? Thank well, you. Many questions in one. Sorry. But, but uh, let, let me go one by one. Uh, fir first of all, um, the idea of uh, um, concern uh, is, uh, I think, some, something I, I never uh, hid. On the contrary, I said it in all words in my reports that I was really concerned, really concerned. And this is why uh, I have been insisting um, ever since my visit in last September, I think it was, when we agreed to uh, do all the servicing and, re and, and, and replace all the equipment, and this part did not happen for Karaj. I expressed that concern because of the second of what we said, what you said in the second part of your question, which is the um, the um, danger that we would be losing um, indispensable information. Of course, that concern exists. But number one. Um, to start mitigating that concern, the first thing you have to do is to put the cameras back. First thing. Um, and this we are going to do. And it's very important. The second problem or the second issue is this gap, like you said, this delta that you have from the moment the, the cameras that were stopped until now. Uh, and um, for that, as I have also indicated, uh, we have ways to try to reconcile uh, the facts on the ground uh, with what Iran is going to be telling us soon. We will, when we go back, we will go back, we will see certain activity, and we uh, don't forget that this is a facility that we know very well. We know the kind of equipment that is, and when you know uh, an equipment, and when you are familiar with a production chain, a production line, you know how much this normally produces, given the normal circumstances. You know how much has been installed. You know how much they declare. So you can, um, the experts working for uh, the agency are going to be receiving this information and making their own assessment and trying to put the jigsaw puzzle, uh, puzzle uh, together. So it's not impossible. It's more difficult because th there has been uh, a loss, and you cannot make up for that loss. But in this case, in, in verification, in safeguards, we have, we have many ways, we have many methodologies, we have many approaches, which in some cases involve the, 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 the images, uh, the, the raw material, if you wish, but also analysis, projections, modeling, that can uh, help us put the story back uh, together. So I don't know if that explains more or less. Yeah? Yes? Uh, Nilfar Ibrahim from Iran International. I have several questions as well, if I may. Yeah, please. Actually, the first one is, is there any uh, formal agreement between uh, IAEA and Iran on Karaj? And is there, was there any reason that you didn't issue a joint statement with the Iranian? Yeah. The second question is that if you're presenting a model of these cameras to the Iranian, does that mean that you're officially helping the Iranian judicial and security team to investigate about what happened inside Iran? The other question is that about, about your recent remark. You usually say uh, a sophisticated and ambitious program like Iran's program uh, doesn't uh, go with the usual safeguard agreements. Do you uh, need or do you suggest that there, there should be some new agreement between Iran and IAEA which would be included in the talks? Okay, in so let's go one by one because there's a lot and I don't want Thanks. to forget any, any element. First of all, you said, why not a joint statement? Well, I, as you know, when I, when I traveled to uh, Iran very recently, uh, 
uh, we worked on a joint state statement, and as I said at the time, uh, our, our talks were inconclusive. This is the word I chose. We were not able to finish it uh, as I had uh, expected. Um, the Iranian side themselves, they recognized that it was a matter of a couple of things. And so ever since, we have been working and talking and exchanging. Um, the fact that we didn't have a joint statement is because I could not travel in time. The, here, the, the, the most important thing was to do it fast for me. That was a big concern that I had. I wanted to, to have my cameras back as soon as possible. So uh, we agreed in my conversations with the president of the uh, Atomic Energy Organization of Iran that uh, we would be exchanging and trying to come to either a joint statement or the way in which we did it, which is um, a, a document of the agency, a, a GovInf, which is a type of document that we have official, where I state that we agreed on the elements that uh, are part of, of, of the agreement. So um, it's, it's a different vehicle, if you want. It's not a joint statement, but it's an agreement with them. The second thing that you were asking was whether this would mean that we would be uh, allowing the judiciary or the security uh, institutions of Iran uh, to, uh, to work uh, on these cameras. I think this is very important. Uh, as you may have seen in the agreement, we have agreed to give them, uh, to, to allow them to observe these cameras. As I was saying, when, when, when let me open this. Well, it won't, it won't open up. But uh, the, the important thing is that, um, first of all, this is not new. It has been done in the past. It's part of the practice. When you are going to be inspecting a country and putting uh, equipment, uh, it is their legitimate right to say, well, I, I want to have a look. What are you going to put there? Um, and this is uh, standard practice. And this is what we are going to do. Of course, they, they cannot uh, touch it uh, uh, without us allowing that. This is why this is a very uh, uh, protocolized, I would say, operation where my inspectors are there. Uh, the Iranian inspectors may ask to see something to open maybe this, uh, this module that I uh, showed to you. Um, so uh, I don't know. It will depend on what they, what they, want, to, what they want to see. Uh, so we don't have a problem. We never had a problem uh, in doing that, and there's nothing extraordinary about that. And the, you had a, f a final point, but I don't remember which um, was. I just wanted to know, is that a part of uh, helping Iranian to investigate on what happened inside the carriage facility the attack, or just for the... No, it's different. Uh, with regards to what happened before, it's up to them what they are doing or what they are investigating. I don't have any, any say uh, uh, in that, uh, apart from when it has to do with uh, my equipment, the equipment of the agency, which they can only access in the presence and under the supervision of the inspectors. So this is the past. For the future, what you do is this. You let them have a look. Let me put it in very colloquial terms. You let them have a look uh, to make sure, uh, I mean, if they want to make sure that there is nothing there uh, that would be a, a compromise for their security or um, anything of the, of the sort. So I hope that satisfies your... François. Hello, François Murphy from Reuters, IDG. Um, since we have this uh, prop... Um, Can you open it, Max, please? Yeah. Could you, uh, there's a lot of, one issue uh, with these cameras is the data, data storage medium. So can you show yeah. us where that is exactly? The data storage medium is here. Okay, so it's that whole box? That this is the module, the whole module. Okay, good. And, and the data storage is here. And what I didn't say is this, 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 these are the batteries here. Okay. This part here, the black part here. Okay, so um, what your agreement with Iran doesn't address is the issue of the missing data storage medium from the camera that was destroyed mm -hmm. and that you saw the remnants of. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, first of all, did you come to any understanding with Iran on that? And Not if yet. You, no, okay. And so uh, is it in any, in any way understandable to you how that might have disappeared as part of this, in this sabotage? 
is that credible that it would have simply vanished? We have, we have doubts about that, and this is why we are asking them. Where is it? Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful they are going to come up with an answer because it's very strange that it disappears. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, um, Gita Aryan with the Voice of America. Yeah. I believe you have answered a couple of uh, the questions I had that, all right, it is standard practice for the country to uh, inspect the, the cameras. And also, with respect to the answer you gave to Stephanie regarding how you're going to put together um, the, inf the missing information that you mm. have, because mm -hmm. you've said that the information is very necessary for you to be able to deliver to the delegations who are negotiating, because they have to consider what's there, what's not there, and you know what they mm. need to consider. Yeah. So is there a margin of error, probably, in, in your um, assessment without Actual it's very small. Very small. And um, uh, about Iran's past activities, mm -hmm. is there any agreement on that? I mean, yes, uh, you're going to be talking about them, but how do you think, do you believe you may get your answers finally after two years in that regard? Well, I must keep trying. So far, we haven't been successful, true, like you say for almost uh, two years. And um, uh, in fact, uh, your question is very pertinent because um, in the context of the joint statement that never was, we were also addressing that in some way. But unfortunately, uh, since we were not able to see each other again, um, we decided to set this aside. But we are going to be starting uh, that conversation again in the very near future. So, uh, you know, my, my, my uh, obligation is to keep uh, pushing and to try to get these clarifications as soon as possible. They are, these are serious things that need to be clarified. I said it, I said it many times. Do you feel like this time you may get more answers? I wish I knew. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, it's Badr from Sharq News. Excuse me for my questions. Is, is this camera easily to be damaged? I, and by what can be damaged easily? And another question we've heard from uh, the Iranian atomic energy that will be another agreement with you uh, within a month. Any comment on that? Another agreement with me? With, with, the, with the agency within a month. Well, this has to do with what, uh, Madame, you were just asking now. I think uh, we are going, we, we have been really trying to focus on these outstanding issues, including by trying to set some, not deadlines, because that is a little bit you know, impractical, uh, because in this kind of uh, uh, investigations and processes, one question leads to the other, and, and you, you don't know exactly uh, how long it, it will take. But for us, there is a big sense of um, urgency. It's been, like you were saying, um, two years, uh, in some cases a, a bit less, but since we started putting questions on, this, on these places. So we are going to be trying to be as focused and as efficient as possible. Regarding the physical damage, the physical damage is a function of what you see. Of course, these cameras are not um, supposed to uh, resist the impossible. If there is an earthquake of the, or, or if there is some explosion or whatever, uh, they are not prepared for that. And it's not the idea. They have a case, as you can see, which is pretty sturdy. Uh, this thing is quite heavy. Um, and in fact, uh, the lens and, and, and the module and the battery are not. So this is basically a pretty solid uh, uh, you know, uh, protection that it has. But of course, it is not something that is there uh, as an, uh, you know, uh, an all-resistant uh, kind of, uh, of protection. So, uh, even by the cyber Sorry? Even by the cyber attack? No, cyber attack is not possible because this is not connected to, you know, one of the ways to protect this, and I think it's a very good question, is to, of course you could if you, if you, if you would like to, but in this case, this camera is in, in a sort of a, a isolation. Um, it it, it uh, uh, records the information, it registers the information, and then when you finish with the operation, then our inspectors retrieve it and analyze it. 
but uh, it's not connected to any grid or to any, there's no cabling to, to some computer uh, somewhere, okay? Very good. Um, Albert Otti, DPA, Chairman Press Agency. A question about the cameras going, going beyond uh, Karaj. Now, you, you said, uh, and we all know that the IA cannot retrieve the data until there is uh, an, an agreement on the JCPOA. Indeed. Does that only apply to the data collected in Karaj or to the data from camera collected at all no, no. nuclear installations? In Very Europe? good question. We, uh, we have, the, I would say, two thirds of the cameras that we have in Iran are related to the Comprehensive Safeguards Agreement, which is applicable in all circumstances. Um, and and uh, as I was saying in the beginning of, of our conversation, uh, there were some additional uh, means of, uh, of monitoring that were allowed to be installed as a result of my February 2020 uh, trip. So uh, um, the cameras that are affected by this is Karaj and other places as well. Eh? Okay. It's not only Karaj mm -hmm. that were added, if you want, or, or kept, which is also mm -hmm. another way to put it from the uh, old JCPOA uh, days. But uh, the bulk of our uh, verification equipment is permanent and continues to run. Uh, Mr. Brosi, Homales, Hello. From Press TV. Hello. Uh, looking at how Iran has uh, seen this agreement, Iran says that by allowing the agency to reinstall these cameras at the site, uh, and this coming after this sabotage attack that's been blamed on Israel, Iran says it's showing its goodwill beyond its safeguards uh, commitments mm -hmm. to allow for progress in the Vienna talks. I was wondering if that's the same vein that you see this move by Iran. How do you personally ass assess this agreement that was reached and its effects uh, on the talks? And have you been in contact with any, uh, for instance, E3 representatives on how this is actually having an impact on the process of the Vienna talks? Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm in contact with everybody all the time. Today, yesterday, all the time, with ev all. Iran, the E3, China, Russia, all of them. So uh, in terms of the effect, how this is seen or judged, is a subjective questions, the question that you're putting to me. So I wouldn't know how the E3 take it or how others take it. I will say something. Uh, this was for me, when you ask about me, I was concerned about the ability of the agency to provide a, as full a picture as it's needed uh, to have a clear idea of what is going on there. Which at the same time is, of course, indispensable for the JCPOA negotiation. But it's not something which is done because of or as a way to. Of course, it has uh, uh, any agreement in life is an agreement, it's not a disagreement. So uh, uh, an agreement uh, in and by itself is a constructive thing. It's a way to say, okay, we were not seeing eye to eye, now we see eye to eye on this, on the cameras, in Karaj. Yeah. Sorry. Um, again, going back to what Albert was talking about and this sort of... Um, kind of black box arrangement you have you have with Iran on the JCPOA mm -hmm. monitoring equipment, yeah. right? Uh, so it's now 10 months since you had access to any of these recordings, right? Mm -hmm. You reached this deal yeah. in February, right? So it, isn't the value of these of these recordings diminishing over time? Isn't there a point where it's this is simply no longer sustainable for you? How do you how do you view that? Uh, sorry, just since I'm only going to get one shot at this. So um, then there's also um, what you mentioned before about being able to reconstruct what happened in this gap. Are you saying that you can do that without access to the recordings? Is there something else you're going to be using in the interim? Or are you simply waiting to have access to this data, which could take years for, for all we know? Um, and then the one small, one small point. Um, at the end of your agreement, you mentioned, or the, your announcement, sorry, uh, you mentioned s extra technical steps that will be taken by the end of the year. It's very vague. I was wondering what 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 is that? Is that something you know innocuous or what are we talking about? No, it's not innocuous. Uh, it's it's important and it's the servicing of the equipment, memories, 
batteries, some other things which are very, very, very important. Uh, oh, so it's so you've, you've agreed to install, but hang on, the end of the year is very soon, because you said you're going to install these cameras in the coming days, mm -hmm. and then there's something else that happens before the end well, of the year. Well, so as, as, as I was just saying, there are other cameras, there are other means of, uh, of monitoring that we have which need to be serviced. It's the equipment beyond Courage. Yeah, okay. beyond, beyond Courage. And th your other question uh, is, I think you, you, you answer it yourself. It's, you know, first, it cannot take uh, years. This is, um, if you remember, uh, Francois, I described this in the past as a stopgap. This uh, additional um, uh, capabilities that we have in pending as an IOU um, is something that works for some time. And then it, it doesn't mean that the information there loses value. The information has value, but the, uh, the, the whole operation in the way which it, it was conceived, it was conceived as a bridge towards something. And that cannot be a very, a very long bridge. Obviously, you've been saying that since February. So I'm, won I'm wondering, like, <laughs> as of what point is this whole exercise futile? Well, I think this is uh, very difficult to say, but not impossible to assess. Um, it's uh, a matter that here, yes, of a very intimate relationship with the JCPOA negotiation. And this is not in my court. Uh, Hassin Zituni, <coughs> sorry, from RT Arabic. Arabic. Uh, based on, uh, uh, in addition of installing the cameras, will the IAEA will have permanent inspectors or observers in Tehran? We do have. In Iran? We do have. You will keep this based Many. on the yes. uh, protocol? We are, we are there the, all the time. Okay. Um, the, it seems like the main question is the, the trust and mutual trust between mm -hmm. the IEA and the other parties and Iran. Um, have you achieved that, that trust? Do you trust Iran when it says that its program is purely civilian and not military? Second question, as Director General of the IEA, yes. and the talks are ongoing here in Vienna, will you be able to recommend that the sanctions will be lifted sooner than later so that we can move forward? Thank yeah. you. Uh, important, important topics. On, on the issue of, of trust, uh, you know, uh, I trust everybody, but I, I verify everybody. That's the nature of my job, you know. That, and the trust is something that you build with time. This is why a couple of months ago, when I was not able to see the foreign minister and others, I was insisting. I didn't have any uh, pride in that or any false sense of pride because we needed to get to, to, get, uh, to, to know each other uh, and to be able to have a direct line like in, like in normal life. Um, and this was not happening. Now we are starting to, to build up a relation. But in any case, um, I'm the IEA. I'm not a friend or a foe. I'm the international inspectorate. So everything we do must be based on inspection is the only way forward. Regarding the sanctions, it's a political question. Um, I hate to say, I, I never say it's not for me, that question, but this question is not for me. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe you, ask, uh, you answered the question, but I photographed and I missed the maybe answer. Yes. Uh, you agreed about the, uh, the courage facilities. What about the other facilities? It is, we can say it is a start of progress uh, after the agreement with the uh, on the courage, you can change the other cameras or other uh, storage, the uh, other this, facilities. This, you know, this was the only place where I had not been able to uh, uh, do what I needed to do. In the other places, uh, everything was more or less in order, so I didn't have a problem. In the case of Karaj, because the cameras had been destroyed and needed to be replaced. It was not a matter of replacing the memory or changing the battery, servicing in the jargon. Uh, it was a matter of coming there, uh, doing some, some work, putting up new cameras, prepare them, etc., etc. And we uh, had a problem there. And this is when this whole discussion, which has lasted for three months, unfortunately, started back in September. And now 
we are going to do it very soon. Hi, Dorsa Jabari from Al Jazeera English. Uh, when you installed the cameras at Karaj in the past, were they checked by the Iranians? Were they inspected on site? When I installed? The cameras. When I, when I installed Initially, them. Initially, yeah, when they were installed, were they inspected by the Iranians at that time? This ones, yes, yes. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty standard uh, practice. Because the investigation that they're wrapping up now in Iran suggests that they believe there was something in one of the cameras that caused the incident, um, and that, that's why they're insisting that you go through this process. Well, I don't know about this, but I can tell you is, that is, of course, absurd. Mm -hmm. It is absurd to believe or to say that the IAEA cameras will be part of some sort of sabotage. That is number one. Number two, these uh, cameras do not have any transmitter, any beacon that can be used in the way that it was alleged. So uh, I, you know, I, I try to re restrain myself because that uh, irritates me enormously. The idea that somebody can be saying that the IEA can be part of something like this. I don't think I don't mean to irritate you. I'm sorry. I don't. No, you don't no, no, irritate no, no. me. I, it's it's not those who saying, say that. No, I understand. I don't yeah. think they're saying directly IEA, but they're saying somebody who may have had access to these cameras. Uh, they're investigating still, but they say they're coming uh, to a final you Remember what I said. This is impossible. First of all, it's impossible because there is no transmitter. They can check it before uh, we put it. And secondly, because uh, as, as I was saying, you know, the moment you want to tamper with it, the moment you open it, it's registered. You know exactly what happened, who did it. Uh, so it is, it is simply impossible. My, sorry, one follow-up question. Yeah. Is it possible to do your job properly at the workshops or any of the facilities without cameras present? Uh, I would say it would be uh, almost impossible. I mean, you can have other ways by visiting, by drawing uh, inventories in the old-fashioned way, if you want. But no, I, th I would say that cameras and as other electronic means of uh, monitoring are indispensable for modern safeguards of practice. Hello, uh, thank you so much for your answers. Hello. Uh, I'm Mohamed Shakir from Okta TV, Austria. Uh, we heard some uh, unofficial reports uh, from uh, some countries about unknown places in Iran uh, for uh, atom activities. And uh, my question is, uh, did you have any uh, uh, negotiate uh, with, with uh, JCPOA or uh, with Iran or, or uh, agency uh, has any plan about uh, these reports? We don't have any. We don't have any information about uh, hidden locations or other places where activities could be taking place. I will start to need to you know, wrap up. So please, if you have any important, uh, additional important question, happy to. Stephanie, Stephanie yes. yes. Thank you so much. So this is Stephanie Liechtenstein again. I'm a freelancer and I have a follow-up question to what I um, asked With you pleasure. before. Um, so, so since you still have access, regular access to the Fordo uh, facility, um, nuclear plant, could you confirm uh, or can you say um, that the advanced centrifuges that are op being operated there are being produced or have come from the Karaj facility? Is, is that a way for you to... It's to, a, to it's, it, it would be a logical conclusion. Okay. Hi, Jordi from Hola. EFE. I have a very short, difficult question maybe. Oh. We who are following this for many years, honestly, I was not, we were not surprised that you have a deal now. So it seems like Iran is playing with this agreement as you are, it's a bargaining chip in negotiation, or is it a sign of that there is some kind of movement towards an agreement? What's your... Well, you know, opinion, uh, yes, uh, people talk about this a pattern of, uh, um, for me, to be honest, I can have personal opinions, but for me what's important is that I have the equipment uh, in place. And uh, one can have a speculation about when this happened and, and why and the, the timing of, uh, of it. Um, but I, all I can say is that it, it, it wasn't easy. Um, and so I, I was not discounting uh, that uh, there would be there would be an agreement. Um, 
So uh, the important thing is that the cameras are going to be back um, in, in, in a few days. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you want to...